Hey Stampers, this is Judy Anderson from JudyStamps.com. In my first project of my progressive project series. For today, all you're going to need is your multi-purpose glue and all your elements. We're going to start out with the soft suede tag and our very vanilla tag. And we're going to line it up, center it up. I know you're going to have a little bit of a hole, but that's okay. Just line it up and adhere that like that. <coughs> You'll take your next piece of very vanilla, put a little bit of glue on there, line this up. Now it's going to be only a slight border around it. That's the way I intended it to be. Just giving it a little bit of dimension. <coughs> Sorry about the cough. I've been fighting this cold all week. The next element, we're going to take our lace doily just put a little bit of glue on there and we're just going to fan it together <coughs> scrunching it like that <coughs> oh sorry about that coughing spell so you've scrunched your doily up next you're going to take your paper rose put some glue on the bottom of that and attach it to your doily. Just hold it on there for a couple seconds. And that should be good. Now you're going to decide where you want your flower to be. You can have it on either end. It doesn't matter. I just happen to like it on the end that the ribbon's going to be attached. Just put some glue on there and adhere it to your tag. Just hold it for a couple seconds. Now, we take our first flower, those spiral, or not spiral, the scallop circle flowers, dab a little bit of glue on, tuck those flowers in there. I like to use my bone folder to get them in there and just hold it for a couple seconds so to make sure that it sticks in there. And then I take my bone folder, and this is where I play with the, flower, the paper a little bit. Once again, it doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. Flowers and Mother Nature aren't perfect. A little glue on this one. Now at the end of this video, I'm going to show you, um, I've made quite a few of these this week because I just fell in love with this design. Don't you just love it when you make something and you just fall in love with it and go, oh, I can't believe I created that. I've got those aha moments all the time. Okay, and just hold that in there. So we have our little flower. Now, when you do your butterfly, you're going to bend those wings up each side of your jewels so it forms a flat surface there. You'll take just a little bit of your glue along that flat surface. Now you may choose to put your butterfly on this end. Um, and you'll see on some of them I put them on either end. I, wherever you want to put it, you may. I'm going to put this one on that side like that. Okay, and real quick, what we're going to do is just take one of the tails from the ribbon that we, when we wrapped it around it and tied it, and you just want to stick it in that hole. It will go. Okay, and just stick it in there. And you know, once again, this ribbon doesn't have to be perfect. Um, it's just an added element. I just love this look. One of my favorite uh, looks is a kind of a shabby chic. I'm just going to tie that on there so it doesn't come off. And voila! Your project is done. Okay, gonna, like I said, I'm going to show you some other ones that I have made this week. Um, the very first one that I made is actually um, to go on a um, one of the paper pumpkin bags and I will show that next week but this is the tag I made with it. I did the pearls on the butterfly instead and the pearl on the inside. Did it all monochromatic. I just used the crumb cake cardstock and crumb cake here. I did sponge this with white and the soft suede. So there's your second tag. Here's um, another tag and this is done with soft suede, soft suede flower and 
the butterfly up here again and I use the um, vanilla bias ribbon and uh, then this is another one that I did with the pink pirouette um, very similar to the one that I made um, this week with you you'll notice that the flowers see how the flowers are different every time you do it so you know that's the way it just turns out your flowers aren't going to be perfect every time and they're not going to be the same no matter how much you try so I hope you enjoyed this first week um, in my first project in the series of progressive projects I'll bring you another one in a couple weeks and um, hope you decide to play along. Thanks again for taking time out of your day and until next time you can buy any of these products at judystamps.com or if you have any questions you can contact me through judystamps.com. Until next time, happy stamping!